Hello and welcome to this MRC PCH revision video. In this video I'll be discussing the ECG leads and where they look. So electricity within the heart flows from the sinoatrial node towards the apex, in other words from right to left. You must also remember that the heart is three-dimensional so the electricity is also flowing from the back towards the front and from the top to the bottom. Finally, in any electrical circuit, current flows from the negative electrode to the positive electrode. If you imagine that the heart is surrounded by two circles, the precordial leads are arranged around the heart in the horizontal plane, and the limb leads are arranged around the heart in the vertical plane. Combining these two planes, we get a three-dimensional idea of how the electricity is flowing within the heart. Let's consider the precordial leads first because they're slightly more straightforward. So here we have the heart as viewed from the front and as viewed from above. So let's position our electrodes V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. Remembering that electrical current in the heart flows right to left and back to front Let's see how that current looks to each of these electrodes. So V1 and V2 both see activity in the ventricular septum. Leads V3 and V4 see electrical activity in the anterior surface of the heart. And leads V5 and V6 see the lateral surface of the heart. So on a 12 lead ECG trace we have the septal leads, the anterior leads and the lateral precordial leads. The limb leads are a little bit more complicated to explain. Let's consider first leads 1, 2 and 3. So if you imagine the surface electrodes in the right arm, left arm and left foot are arranged in a triangle like this. Remembering that electricity flows from right to left and from negative to positive, let's assign the right arm electrode as the negative terminal. If we're interested in detecting electricity flowing towards the left arm, let's make that the positive terminal. So to detect this, we take the signal that is detected in the left arm and we subtract the signal detected in the right arm. This gives us lead 1. Next, let's consider the electricity that's flowing towards the left foot. So we'll assign the left foot as the positive electrode. The right arm is already the negative electrode. So to detect this flow, we simply take the signal detected in the left foot and subtract from it the signal detected in the right arm. This gives us lead two. Finally, to see the current heading from the left arm to the left foot, we have to reassign the left arm as a negative electrode. Then we detect the signal in the left foot and subtract from it the signal in the left arm. This gives us lead three. As you can see, this forms an equilateral triangle known as Einthoven's triangle. And each of the leads are offset from one another by 60 degrees. So if your positions lead one, two and three so that they intersect with the heart in the centre, Let's see what that looks like. So here we have lead 1. Lead 2 is at 60 degrees relative to lead 1. And lead 3 is at 120 degrees relative to lead 1. Next we'll consider the augmented limb leads. ABR, ABL and ABF. AB stands for augmented vector. So let's say that we want to detect the electricity that's flowing towards the right arm. Well, in order to do this, we assign the right arm as the positive electrode. 
We then assign the left arm and the left foot jointly as the negative electrode. This allows us to see the current heading towards the right arm. This is ABR, or augmented vector right. In precisely the same way, if we're interested in seeing current heading towards the left arm, we assign it as the positive terminal and jointly assign the right arm and left foot as a negative electrode. And this shows us AVL, or augmented vector left. And finally, to see the current heading directly towards L, the left foot, we assign it as the positive terminal and the right arm and left arm jointly as a negative terminal. And this shows us ABF, or augmented vector foot. The augmented limb leads are offset from one another by 120 degrees. If we add the augmented limb leads to our diagram, we can now see that leads 2, 3 and ABF are looking at the inferior surface of the heart. Leads 1 and ABL are looking at the lateral surface of the heart and AVR is looking at the right atrium. On a 12 lead ECG, the inferior leads are here, and the lateral leads are here, remembering the lateral precordial leads from earlier. This diagram is also known as the hexaxial reference system. It's important to understand uh, for determining the cardiac axis, which is something we'll consider in a future video.